Hi guys, Kyung here, and we are coming to um, our end of our Christmas in July, as it is the end of July. <laughs> um, and I've been seeing amazing journals coming out, um, you know, because it takes time to make a journal. And so I've been seeing amazing, all the, all the projects are coming out now, and um, you know, it's, it's really cool. So I have to catch up on that. I still haven't caught up on that. Um, but today I decided um, for our last pages, um, I'm going to do some watercoloring because I want to paint. Not only do I want to paint, but I need to paint. That's the one. But this is good. Just um, these are going to be like my background pages, right? And then this I'm going to paint on its landscape, and then I'm going to cut it in half, and then we're going to place them on here, and the black will act as like a border. And I think that will look really nice. So that's the plan. And so we can put this away for now. Um, and then I think when I'm done with that, I'll finish up the journal off screen and then um, we'll come back and uh, I'll like do a little flip through of it or whatever. So I'm using gouache paints. So these are like watercolor. They're exactly like watercolor, but they're like opaque. They're more opaque than um, water. Watercolor is more um, transparent is the word I'm looking for. Transparent. Okay, let me try to like position things so that you can kind of see what's going on. Let's see, we have water. I have a rinse cup and um, a clean water cup. And then let me grab... So I'll show you what the paints are. So this is, this is what they are. They're gouache. And I got mine from Arteza. This is the back of the box. Even though this looks like the back of the box, it's not. But yeah, they're, uh, they're gouache. Oh, I'm missing one. I wonder where it went. <laughs> it's probably up there on my paint. Ah, yes, here it is. Probably a white or something, yes. Okay, so I do want to grab a black right? I think we have some black here, but I want to grab some anyway. And then, because I want some wet, because when you leave them in the pan, they dry. And just like watercolor, right? So they come wet in these tubes. And then when you leave them, you know, and they dry, they dry. But then you can always just spray them like regular watercolors to reactivate them. And I'll do that now just to like, you know, wake them up a little bit. Wake up watercolors. Okay. So we want, I want some black and I'm going to attempt to maybe try to get a little bit of, um, I'll grab some Prussian blue and, um, I want some like pink or something or some red. Wow. We're really, oh, here we go. Vermilion red. I think that's pretty, pretty basic, right? And I think that's it. Yes, I think, because I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt, ooh, to mix my own colors. And I do want to do it, um, I do want, like, fresh wet paint, because you do get more paint, you use up more of it, right, um, obviously. It's, you don't save as much as if I were to go right into the, what's well, dry. But for what I want to do... Should I mix it in a little pan? Probably. I hate to. Oh, see, so when it dries, it powders, especially gouache. So gouache, not only does it dry opaque, but it dries almost like very matte. Okay, very um, chalky, right? Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put some black in here. I'm going to put it in the pan so that, you know, if we have any left over, it won't, we won't waste it. I'll put a little bit of blue. Ooh, I can't get it open. <laughs> Come on. Ow. Where's my pliers? Oh, this is when you need a man, right? Just, my husband was down here. I would hand it to him. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Ow, goodness. Okay, blue. Mm. 
very good that looks like that blue see that could be that blue or it could be that blue i'm not sure so and then our vermilion red oh and this one just opened up so easy oh i think vermilion red's a little orange isn't it that's so that's okay i don't know it's pretty red it's supposed i don't know it's pretty red we'll play with it we'll see so i'm gonna get my big my actual big paintbrush dum -da dum it's got stuff on it from because I'm always using it to brush brush away things uh oh it's got ink and all kinds of stuff okay that's fine make sure it's all okay so I'm gonna take I'm gonna wipe out my palette from this so yeah I wanted to paint I needed to paint oops I love paint I'm not a painter do not get me wrong. I do not profess to be a painter at all. Um, okay, I'm going to spray this a little bit and just wet my paper. Let it kind of soak into the paper, right? This is watercolor paper. So I actually pulled this from this book. And do I still have the sticker on it? No. But it's an Arteza watercolor paper. And I just ripped a page out of there. I'm going to leave the perforated edge because I like it. I think it'll look fancy. Okay, so should we should we dive in? Oh my goodness, and try to mix some color, huh? Okay, let's get our brush wet. Okay, let's grab some black. I want to try to make some gray. Oh, I should have put some white out. I should have put some white out. Okay, so, right, so that's a lot of black, right? Well, I don't want to go all black because it'll be very dreary, right? And I don't want to go just gray either. So this is why you need a rinse cup, right? Gosh, and a water cup, a clean water cup, see? And then you don't have to worry about when you, I dip this into the white. Look, there's no black that bleeds into my white. So I'm gonna grab some white. I'm gonna put some off to the side. <laughs> we're gonna grab some a little bit at a time I think yeah so that's not bad I mean it's pretty stormy hmm what if we added some more white and maybe some blue let's add some blue some of this Prussian blue I feel like Bob Ross always used Prussian blue yes <laughs> like that was on his list of yeah see and then instead of using just black we get this blue color right let me grab some more okay try and get most of the I hate to waste the paint but you know it is what it is these uh, watercolor <laughs> really it doesn't matter watercolor it lasts so long it really does I mean these paints really they last they they really last um, okay I'm gonna grab a little bit more white All right let's put some in here ooh ooh pretty so yes, I needed to paint, I wanted to paint, was a thing that needed to happen. Um, you know, again, I'm not a watercolor artist. I don't profess to be such things. This may turn into a disaster. But I find that painting, I don't know, it like reorganizes my mind or something. It does something to my mind. So I'm gonna like use this. I've never really used a big brush before. Ooh, we're gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Ooh, some blue got on there. That's okay. Not a big deal. I'm gonna make sure that my I need to make sure my paper is wet, right? That there's a sheen, but that it's not pooling and drenched, right? You don't want it drenched. Because that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit more water on my brush. Pick up this paint like some of it's going to be lighter 
right? Because I have white on this end and I have black on this end. My brush is whiter. So I'm going to have darker on this end and lighter on that end. That's just what it's going to be. I didn't plan for it to happen that way. <laughs> so because of that, oh, I wish it was kind of the other way around though, right? Because the dark should be on the top like that. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. Let's grab a little bit more dark, a little bit more white on this end. Put another brush stroke on there. I'm going to grab a little bit more black. I'm going to put a line of black along my top. Did I tape down my paper? No, I did not. I don't like to do that. I like to be able to, I, I, if you tape down your paper, you can't move your work, right? You're stuck with it there. And again, I'm not a professional watercolor artist, so. Okay, I'm gonna grab more water. Not so much water. I'm gonna try to blend this in if I can. Move it down. Maybe lift it up a little bit, let it. Oh no, I used my clean water brush to rinse my brush. That's what happens. That's okay. I have a backup plan. Kind of maybe let it. I like it so far. Yes, it looks dreary for now, but this is our background, right? The beginning of our background. And I like it. Um, I'm going to put this brush away. It intimidates me. I'm going to put it away. Goodbye, brush. I hope I'm in frame. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. I could, not be, I could be not in frame. Um, okay. So today I did a bunch of cabbage dyeing. a bunch of cabbage dyeing. And I've cabbage dyed a few times in my life, but never, um, I've never gotten the results like I did today. I really got amazing results today. And um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to repeat such a thing, but I'm just gonna move. I'm sorry, you can't see me wipe my brush. You can't see anything, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna move this down. Hopefully I'm not moving this. So I got a new mic because my, because uh, I had to get a new phone because I broke my phone, which was not a good thing, I don't think, right? Um, so I'm gonna mix up but the microphone that comes with the phone is not good, right? I didn't like it at all and it kind of popped. And so I got this mic that to plug into my phone. And so I hope that it works good. Hopefully it's better, we shall see. I want some pink. If we picked up a little tiny bit of blue, just a little tiny bit, right? Mix in some of that color. That's kind of a corally color, isn't it? It's a little coral. It's fine. We want some pink. Put some pink in there. Let it blend. Doom, doom. I'm not going to mess with it too much, right? I just want touches of pink. It's a little muddy, but that's okay. Everything dries lighter than what you would expect. You know, I'm not, I, you know, I just play. <laughs> sometimes uh, it comes out pretty and I like it. And sometimes not so much. Add some pink streak down here. Okay, so at this point I'm gonna stop because we're, I'm gonna add some mountains. I'm going to add some mountains and some trees. It's going to be a winter scape. Uh, I am going to try to bring some of this, some of this black down if we can. Oh, 
There you go, rinsing my rinsing my brush in the wrong thing of water. Okay, I just want it to not be such a stark line, right? I want it to blend a little bit, which, and it will as it dries, right? So I'm going to grab my, where did my, oh, there's my thingy, my, my dry thingy. Okay, here we go. We're pretty dry where we are dry. We're very dry. And we have a kind of, you know, evening wintry sky going on. And I'm going to put in some mountains. So I think I'm going to use the same, the same blue um, with some more kind of black in with it. Oh, man, that might have been too much. Let's pick up some more of that blue. Ooh, I like it. I like it. That is the color that I want, I think. Put some water in there. Get it the consistency I want. I don't want it too watery, but I don't want it too thick either. Um, should we test it on our little paper towel? Just to see. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's a good dark color. Okay, mountains. So mountains, as far as I know, right, are just M's. They're just like, they're M's. Doom, doom. And then another, you know, weird looking M. And we'll put another one. Ta-da. M's. Uh oh, what am I wrong? Grab some water and some paint, kind of blend this in. So yep, lots of cabbage dyeing. They came out gorgeous. I made a bunch of them. I ended up making, I think, over 60 pages. So we're very happy about that. <laughs> I don't know, I probably already talked about that, didn't I? <laughs> it's been so hot recently. Um, uh, so it reminds me yeah, I was just talking with my sister the other day about every single summer when we were growing up as kids, we used to play, we used to play, we used to gather up all the neighborhood kids in the neighborhood, right? Gather up as many kids as we could. We'd knock on all the doors. And then um, beforehand, we would, we would have like gone to the Dollar Tree, right? And I would have like saved some money, do you know, throughout the summer. And uh, we'd go to the Dollar Tree and buy bags of like water balloons. And so we'd gather up all the kids in the neighborhood. And gosh, I had to be, I don't know, 13 or 14. And my sister had to be maybe eight at the time. And my youngest sister, she was maybe six or something, four, five, six. And um, we would all the neighborhood kids, we would gather up and we would just fill up these water balloons. It would take a long time, all afternoon, and then, uh, and then we would um, uh, go to the park because we lived all lived near near a park, and we would take the wagon. So uh, one of the neighbor kids across the street had a wagon, right? And so we would take the wagon and we would fill up all the water balloons in the wagon, and then we would <laughs> all go to the park. And we would, we would just throw all the water balloons, um, have a massive neighborhood water balloon fight with all the neighborhood kids. It was so much fun. So much fun. I miss that. So here we have mountains. I hope I was like on screen while I was doing that. Um, we could put in a little bit of layer behind, right? So some lighter mountains. 
Let me just water this up and you can put lighter paint on thicker paint, right? But you can't really put thicker paint on lighter paint, right? It'll just cover it up. You also have to be careful with watercolor because it will leach, right? So it'll, because I didn't wait for it to dry, some of the color from this dark will probably bleed a little bit into the background mountains. And that's okay, I don't care. They're just background mountains, right? I don't know, is that looking good? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just playing. Okay, now what do we do? What do we do with our foreground? You know, that's the problem. Um, I think I'm gonna wait, is that what it's called? A foreground? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna wait on that. Let's do some trees, I think, maybe. Or we could also put some, I don't know, definition in the sky. It's very, very dreary. We could put some white. Hmm? Oh, I had some blue in my paintbrush. That's okay, we'll get a little bit of blue on our white. So, because it's gouache, see, it's opaque. So I'm going to put some white in. That'll give us some clouds. And still, right, they're going to be a little cloudy. They're going to be, it's a watercolor. They're going to be chalky and um, because it's gouache, it will give this kind of, I'm hoping for a cold, frosty looking cloud. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks kind of cold and frosty. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Okay, um, let's do some trees. I have my thinner brush. What is this one? That's, this one was a, what, a four? A transom. A transom four. <laughs> I don't know. They were just some watercolor brushes I picked up at the Hobby Lobby. Um, so, I think I'm going to use this dark color. The same dark color. Uh, the... So, um, the, I went to the live this morning. And, uh, Miss Paint a Lot does a live every Saturday and Sunday, and she showed the most amazing technique with a laminator. And I guess I, I um, Mr. F came up with the technique or something. Oh no, that cloud was wet. Not to fear, we shall wipe you away. It's okay, no one ever knew. We'll fix you later. Um, And so I'm sold on getting a laminator. I am so sold on getting a laminator. So one thing I love to do, even though, you know, again, I'm not a watercolor artist. Um, one thing that, uh, I love to do is put watercolor paintings in my journals. It's a thing I like to do. And sometimes I'll paint, you know, three or four different ones to get one that I like, I think is okay enough to go into a journal. This is just, you know, my personal Christmas journal, so I don't really care. I'm just kind of playing. This is looking very dark, isn't it? It's okay. We haven't, this is just the tree branches, you know. And you have to remember that in the winter, Right. Um, there are no leaves on the branches. Okay, I'm thinking I'll make this one a little thicker, and this one I'll make a little thicker. This one will bring down like that. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to like overwork it or anything. I think that's okay. It's a little tree. It's, you know, it could, I guess, go out longer, couldn't it? Could it go out longer? 
don't know. This is my problem with trees. I find them, they grow on my page and I, they take up my whole page. <laughs> I don't know when to stop making little branches, you know. It's just little V's, that's what it is. You take a branch off of this and you make a little V at the end. Oh, and then this one, this one needs a little V, right? And this one, it needs a little V. They all need little V's. And the more little V's that you connect, I feel like the more complex it looks. But I'm gonna add snow and stuff onto the, onto like the trees. And like, so, I mean, it's not really all that. We could bring a branch out like this. A little, little grow out like this. <laughs> a little happy little tree. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Moving on, moving on. Um, so I watched a movie recently. Uh, it was actually really good. And I thought it was a new movie. <laughs> it was funny. I was all telling my sister. I was like, you have to watch this new movie you know, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I had her watch the trailer and come to find out it's 10 years old. It's a 10 year old movie. Not a new movie at all, but um, it was really good. Like a psychological kind of thriller. Um, it was called The Shelter or Take Shelter. That's what it was called. Now I'm just dotting, dot, dot, dot. Now I am making happy little trees, huh? Um, yeah, it was called The Shelter. Take Shelter. It was really good. I really liked it. Should I leave it there? Should I, like, leave this little stump? I kind of like the little stump. Should we give it, like, a little bit of a... Actually, you know what? I really, I really like that. Oh, my goodness. Anyway... Um, I was kind of worried that this was not going to turn out very well. Oh my, okay. So we're going to bring that one down and I'm going to make a big pine. Right? So just back and forth. Dot, 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 dot. Back and forth. Back and forth. I don't, I'm not trying to think about it. I try not to think about it. This is why, okay. So one of the reasons why I think that I love to paint, okay? And I just play with painting. And why I feel like it's so therapeutic is that it's, it forces me to let go. I think that's what it is. And my mind kind of just wanders and it's just about the process. It's not about being talented, right? I say, just do it, right? That's what I always try to tell myself in my head. Just do it. Yes, yes, yes. And like, I appreciate, you know, <laughs> I'll tell myself with all my self doubts will come creeping in, right? All the, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. And it's not that great and do, 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 do and all this stuff. I'll tell myself, yes, thank you. I appreciate it. And it's good to not go in blind Right? We don't want to be let down. We don't. <laughs> we want to go in with, you know, good expectation and realistic expectation that we may fail. <laughs> I appreciate that, self. Moving on, I am busy and have things to do. <laughs> okay, this became a giant wide tree, wider than I wanted it to be. But that's okay. We're going to, we're, we're going to. just going to dot, 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 dot. We're just going to fill it in. Fill it in. Not being particular. Good stuff. Good stuff. You can kind of see the mountain through the tree. I kind of really like that. You know what? Let's take some of this black like some of this darker black, we can mix some blue in into it. But let's put like an actual trunk down this guy. Ooh, is that too much? It's too much. 
that's okay we'll blot it you can always blot it away right because it is watercolor and if you get to it fast enough if you get to it fast enough you're good I'll just put some more dots in here right since we wiped it it's fine it's fine how it is right I think so just stop <laughs> okay so there's that and let's add a little one this one can be a little darker I'm thinking we'll add it let's add a little cluster of them maybe down here right a little cluster of trees Okay, there's one. Okay, and we want it to kind of dry, actually. Um, we can put a little trunk in. Oh, how cute. It's a little trunk. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I could put some. Um, I'm not going to. Well, uh, I kind of need something to contrast against the white. Um, I could try to put in some right just some a little bit just tiny little dots that look like little maybe like little pine needles or something right they look like little pine needles so I'm kind of excited my niece is coming to hang out with us next week super excited about that um, it's been a quite a while you know and uh, it's been a crazy summer and now with all of everything going on and everything so and I don't know maybe we'll play some Jack we have there's this game on Xbox called Jack in the Box is it called Jack in the Box I don't know something like that it's called like Jack box party game or something They're like little party games and one of them is oh my gosh one of them is so you you the, the team well it's you against everyone else right and everyone takes turn picking pictures like on their device right and then you uh you don't know what they pick and then you have to go up there <laughs> in front of everyone and then it's like a slideshow right and you click the button and it like switches to the next picture that everyone picked and you have to try to like ba basically market the thing that whatever it is so it's a fun fun funny game especially if you know you have people close friends and stuff that you feel confident enough to do that kind of thing with right um but uh what else oh there's this other game right on there where you can like make your own t-shirts <laughs> and then everyone votes right for like what's the funniest t-shirt or whatever it's great there's a trivia one on there and she is so good at that I mean I am so bad at trivia I like that I put a little bit of stuff on the tree I'm happy about that it took some time but it allowed this down here to dry right so let's put in another let's try to make this one kind of narrow if we can a narrower tree Kind of lost its definition here on the sides so yes I'm excited about that that should be fun maybe we'll play some VR I love um, playing VR I play some virtual reality myself I love some Beat Saber <laughs> but you know my husband is like super into video games so we always have all the video game stuff Perhaps a little tiny one back here. Yeah, I just really wanted to paint. So, that's what we're doing today. It is what it is. I say do what you want.
in life. Life is too short. Okay, how is that? How is this? Does it look good? I like it. Um, I think we're going to let it dry. Okay, so it's kind of dry, mostly. It's mostly dry. Um, but what I was thinking is I want to put in some like foreground, some little bushy, some like grass or something, right? Because it's looking a little... Um, and you know, we're because we're gonna put in uh, snow. Like I'm gonna put in snow, but I'm gonna make this is pretty dry brush, right? If you look at it, it's pretty dry. Um, yeah, it's pretty dry, and I want it to be dry brush. And I'm gonna make kind of some lines, right? Oh, maybe it's a little too dry. You want it to be not so dry. Just some like what looks like grass texture, I think. Oh, that actually, I really like that. That actually looks great. Just some, a little tiny bit up here in the background. And then what I'll do. So I'll come in. Oh, too much. Let me grab my regular brush. Let's see if I can fix this. I was kind of wanting to, yeah. And this is too much. Kind of blend this line. This brush has no paint on it. It's just a little wet, right? It has zero paint on it. I'm just trying to soften my lines a little bit. That's actually cool. It kind of ended up looking like a shadow or something. Whatever. Again, I just play. Now I'm adding a little bit of paint. I want to blend these harsh. So again, we're going to put in snow. Okay, that's good. I'm going to dry it and we're going to look at it and see what it looks like at this point. Um, yeah, okay, let's dry it and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go and we're back. Anyway, so I apologize if this is all boring and everything, but... Um, I just really wanted to paint. Uh, so I'm going to add some white at this point and I'm going to grab the wet. I we're going to grab like wet actual because this is not good enough. I could soak it and let it sit there and really mix it and get some good paint, right? Get a good like thick paint, but I want it pretty like I want it pretty concentrated um, because it's going to be snow and I'm going to we're putting it on black so we're putting so we're putting um, right white like a light on a dark which is always hard especially with watercolor or anything like that okay come on cap you can do it You can, oh, come on, don't do that to me. I'm always so scared that I'm gonna like rip the tube, you know? I could go run it under hot water. <laughs> that would fix it. That would get it to budge. Come on, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, I'm just gonna put some in there. I'm actually gonna put more in there than that. I always use a lot of white, so I'll use it later, I know. Because um, I'm running low on the titanium anyway, and I think that's what that one is. Okay, so I'm gonna use my bigger brush, right? What is this, my three? We'll uh, move that, stick this here. Okay. 
white pretty heavily concentrated white we could add a tiny touch of pink huh that's probably smart or a tiny touch of blue um, it's usually good to, to add a little tiny bit of color to your right your whites or your um, I think let's go blue it's pretty oh as I did as I almost dip it into the red just a tad like I just want such a little tiny bit of blue right just a little tiny bit of blue yeah see so that that way it's not and it looks more frosty yeah that's fine just all that blue that's fine get out a little bit more white a little bit more water we're good it's a pretty thick paint right I think it'll be good should we test it <laughs> this is where we can mess it up okay I'm gonna add snow on these mountains um, where I'm not very good with like light where you know snow would fall um, I feel like usually with snow it's usually like one side of the mountains I'm not sure I don't like the way this came out so um, we're gonna do something about that uh, it's so thick just some snow on the mountains on the mountains some snow on the mountains I'm gonna do them on this side like this Oh, see, I kind of remember with snow, you like slash it down like that. <laughs> right, like that. Slash it down like that. Oh, is that right? That kind of looks like snow to me. Right? Kind of slash it down. I think that's mostly like an acrylic <laughs> technique. I don't know. It works. It looks like snow. Um, I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to soften these lines just a little tiny bit. Wow, I really like this actually. So there could be some on these back mountains, but just a tad, right? So I'm thinking, oh, that black is about to mix into my white. I'm like worried about that. Right, we, just like a watered down version of it. And it will dry so much lighter than um, what it looks like wet. It will, always does. That could use a little more. We don't want it to like blend into the background too much. Okay. I like it. It's good. Let's add some snow to our tree. This one definitely. I'm just gonna put some on all the branches not being particular. I know it looks so messy, huh? It'll look cool when it's done. I hope anyway. I don't know. I didn't test this. I didn't practice any painting today. I just um, turned on the camera and picked up the paint. <laughs> so and I haven't painted in a while actually and I need I need to I just knew I needed to um, another thing that I do need to do is go to the mountains I have not I haven't been to, I used to love going to the mountains all the time we used to go camping and hiking and all the stuff and now I just I haven't been it's been like five years since I've been and then last year right last year almost exact oh that's way too much blue 
last year um, we went uh, and oh it was great and I had such a great time and it was great and I want to go back so bad so yeah I'm ready ready to go back and we haven't been this year yet so I'm really hoping at some point some point this year we get to go do that get to go go back to the mountains maybe do some camping just be in the woods that's another thing that I feel like I don't know just does me good you know just sit in nature like nature just a good dose of nature so this got all kind of um, blended in with our, like, look, the tree is growing through the mountain kind of thing. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can grab just a tiny bit of this blue because now we're kind of back to all black on that. There we go. That looks right. I mean, we can bring it down a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Let me add some snow a little bit. Uh, along here. Doop, 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 doop. snow it was blowing in from this way yay let's grab some more blue and put some snow on top of these branches <laughs> like this <laughs> that looks kind of bad oh uh, I don't know It's fine. Actually, it looks good. Looks good. Just just keep going. Keep going. Don't think too much. Don't futz around. Right? It'll look fine. It always looks fine. You know, you always be surprised at yourself. And if it ends up looking like a, you know, a third grader did it, well, <laughs> that happens. My stuff looks like that too sometimes. And I chalk it up too. This is what I always say to myself. Well, my inner child really, really wanted to play. They wanted to come out and they wanted to paint because you know, when we're kids, we loved painting and we loved getting all messy and getting into art and stuff. And then we kind of stopped doing it, you know? And um, at some point, because we think we're not artists and we're not good enough and we get criticized and all these things throughout our life. And you know, oh, well, and it's this and it's that and blah, blah, like, I, um, well, sometimes your inner child is just begging to come out and like play. And so I chalk it up to that. So, and in that way, I keep those projects and I look at them, you know, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. And it makes it sweet in a way, you know, no, I wouldn't put it in a journal to like sell or something, you know, unless it was like, that was the, I was, what I was going for, right? some childlike <laughs> that's so funny speaking of okay that reminds me of the story so me and my husband were in where were we at I think we were in Taco Bell or something we're getting some like dinner okay and they had just recently redecorated their dining area right and so we're standing there and we're waiting for our food and we notice the art on the walls all the way around. Oh, it was McDonald's. That's right, it was McDonald's. So yes, yeah, so we're standing there and we notice all the art, right, all the way around the, in the lobby. And it's, <laughs> you could tell that it, they were trying to go, they were really trying to go for this idea of, oh, kids drew it, right? They were like little stick figures, little stick houses, like, you know, like cute little drawings that like kids would draw. But it was obvious looking at it that um, 
children did not draw these at all. Like an artist, like someone paid an artist money, <laughs> right? To like do this, like, and I don't know. Me and my husband were talking about it. Like, why not just get kids to do it? Why not like, right? Hire a couple kids to come in, hand them some, cause they'll do it, right? And you can get kids that won't, you know, draw naughty things, you know, all over the walls and stuff, you know, because I know that that's the concern, like, oh, well, you know, kids are blah, blah, blah. And maybe, I, and I think he, I, it probably really comes down to leg, legality and, you know, oh, well, child labor, this and that. But it's like, yeah, but do, I, I would have loved to do that as a kid. Like... I get it. I understand. I get it. I, I get it. Like, I, get, I understand the rules and all that, but I don't know. I feel like, like, for example, right, uh, you have to have a permit to, like, sell things on the street, right, to be, like, a street vendor. Well, I don't think that applies to lemonade stands. <laughs> I think that's ridiculous, and I don't know. That's my opinion. <laughs> that's just so ridiculous. We used to have lemonade stands when we were kids. It was so much fun. Um, you know, and would you classify that as child labor? It's 25 cents for a, you know, I mean, I suppose if like all these adults were profiting off of it, it was a whole thing. I don't know, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Bottom line, I think that kids should be allowed to paint the inside of McDonald's restaurants. <laughs> Just give them a paintbrush and let them go wild. Forget the play area, right? You know, the like play place area. Just give them a paintbrush. <laughs> I'm gonna put some stronger white in here. Maybe some like, like a little bit of horizontal lines a little bit here and there. It's very dot. It's fine. I mean, I can, let's come in with a wet brush, right? And just kind of soften it a little bit. That'll help it not be such, so such stark dots, you know, that's the thing with watercolor. It's water soluble. So you can always just go in, blend it out a little bit, right? Trick is the paper. Watercolor paper is key. I really tried for, I did, I tried for a long time to say, I don't need watercolor paper. I don't need fancy paper. I'm gonna use cardstock and all different kinds of stuff. I'll gesso it. I'll do all these different kinds of things. Um, that's how much against wanting to like get into like get buying water because watercolor paper is a little expensive to be honest. So, Anyway, there it is. It's like, so this is what happens, right? It's when you, cause it's paper and you get it wet. It kind of bends around, but that's okay. And once we glue it onto the page, it won't matter. I love that this up here is more white than this down here. The way that that just turned out. I love that. I wish I could achieve the same thing. I was trying to achieve like the same thing over here, right? Like just some, extra white some starker white I know that the, the um, snow is blowing was supposed to be blowing in this way but with the way that this is I don't know I just like the way it looks that's fine I'm gonna leave it alone at this point um, Let's put some like snow snow on it. So let's get this all. Wet, good, good um, consistency. Get our brush nice and saturated with um, paint. And then I'm going to flick. All right, we're going to snow it up. Maybe some more water, a little bit more paint. I 
I hear Christmas bells. I've been loving everyone's music. I noticed that so many people who's been doing this collaboration with the, um, you know, the Chris, vintage Christmas in July, I love the music. <laughs> A lot of people have been putting, um, like Christmas music as intros before their videos and I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> Ta-da, it's snowing, see? Could it go with some more? Yes, and you know what? To get bigger splotches, I think, you use a thicker brush, right? Don't you use a thicker brush? Is Do I have even a thicker brush? Let me grab my um, brush. Ooh, look at this brush. This is a nice big brush. What is this? A seven? I could have probably used that earlier and saved us time, huh? Um, ooh, it reminds me of like a an oriental calligraphy brush. Ooh, I like the feel of it. Let's grab some of this white. Saturate this brush. Right? Let's put some, let's try to get some big snow on here. That's what I'm going to try to do. It's still pretty. I mean, they're bigger. Definitely bigger. I'm getting paint everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. It's just watercolor. It'll wash off. Yep, that's pretty blizzard. How's that looking? I love it. Oh my gosh. It's a winter scene. It, it could do with touches of pink, I feel like. Like it could do with a little bit more touches of pink. Let me dry it. All right, so there we go. It's um, dry. I'm gonna add some uh, more of this pink because the only bit you see is a little tiny bit up in here. Right, so I'm gonna add a little tiny bit here. I'm gonna go in there with water right away. Spread it around a little bit. Yes. Um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's add some more down here. I love that there's some pink showing down here and we could add even more. So let's do that. Just some pink down in here. More pink. Could definitely use more pink. And then I'm thinking up in here. Down through here. And then get your brush wet. Right, rinse it off, get your brush wet so you can spread and soften your paint. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Again, I'm just playing. Just playing. Oh, I love the pink. I don't know if you can even see it, the difference with the pink. It really, you can tell, I don't know. It just softens it and it, re oh. Yeah, I love, oh my goodness, the pink really adds, right? Cause it's like, it makes sense. So in the winter, when it's a sunset and the pink shines down on the snow, it does, it makes everything look a little pink. Um, I'm sad we're kind of running out of that color. I should have made more of it, huh? Here, that's good enough. Let's add some in the trees. Hmm. 
Okay, maybe a little tiny bit just down here, just so it doesn't look so one-sided, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, and then... Okay. Uh, a little bit on this tree and this tree. wet our brush, blend it. See, I was so sad I didn't have any donuts for the live this morning. <laughs> oh, and I've been being spoiled. My husband has been every weekend for the past two or three weeks, goes in the morning early. He wakes up in the morning, the first thing, and he leaves, and he'll bring home donuts for me. And he'll be like, I know you like your donuts during your weekend thing. It's so sweet. And then, um, but he didn't this morning. <laughs> oh, not that I expected him to. I really didn't. But. But, yeah, it's funny. A little bit of pink on this white up here. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the way this has come out. This is, I'm so happy with it. Well, I say that now. There are many times when I say I'm happy with something and then I come back later and I'm like, I don't like it. <laughs> my bird page of my romance journal was like that. I really didn't like it afterwards. Um, Oh, uh, my tree in this journal, in this Christmas journal. It's okay. But it was funny because while I was doing it, I was like, I love it, blah, blah, blah. And then afterwards I looked at it and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Okay, oh, look at how much the pink has just brought it out so much just to life, right? Just to life. This is too dark though and could be brought down. Very good. I love it. I think it's good. I think we could just like sign it and be done. I will sign it. I usually sign most of my paintings. Just um, my mother used to. My mother was a painter. She painted oil paintings. Um, there. Ta -da. Yay, so we're done with this and we're done with this. Um, again, I hope that this has not been too, too bad. Um, I just really love, I really, really wanted to put a watercolor painting in this journal. So First, let's measure it, and yes, we are going to cut it after all that work. I know, isn't it terrible? That's what it means to be a junk journaler, huh? Okay, so... <laughs> this is how I'm making it even. Okay, we're gonna cut it here. That is its half, roughly, for the most part. I know I have all these little white dots all over my desk. It's okay. They will come off easy. They're just watercolor. Actually, I will spray. You can clean up a little bit. Spray some water, grab my towel. Dun, dun, dun. Something fell. Okay. There we go. So here is our two cards. They, these are gonna get glued down first. So let's do that really quickly. Is my Cosmic Shimmer doing well today? So this is just black cardstock. I just cut it to fit the, um, oh, don't do that to me. I will put you away. Don't 
time for your shenanigans. I'll put take out my art glitter glue. Now don't you mess up on me. Yes, I just cut it um, to fit the uh, envelope. Just black cardstock. It's so hard to see if it's even now because of the red. I think Yeah, I think that's right. Well, it's on there now for the most part, except for this part because it's sticking up. It's okay. We'll just glue right on the edge. Get it good. I might even grab Mr. Roller thing. Um, so, Jania mentioned about naming my sewing machine. This is not working, it is not. And I loved the idea, because I always call him Mr. Sewing Machine. But I love the idea of actually naming him something. So I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, and I'm open up to uh, any suggestions. <laughs> if anyone is still, here <laughs> after all that painting fiasco that I had to get out of my system goodness gracious our envelope journal is too thick uh, okay it's okay I always make my journals too thick I like them too thick it's a preference don't do that to me glue come on I don't have time for this. Now unclog and be good. There we go. I got whatever stuck, uh, you know, dried piece of glue that was stuck up in there. Got that dealt with. This is not. I think I cut these envelopes crooked, to be honest. Because every single page that I put on, I swear, I'm like, it's not even, because I think I cut my envelopes not even. That's okay. That's totally okay. So where this one is gonna get glued here, and we could ink around it, but um, do I have my blue with me? No, I just have my red and my green, so I'm not going to. Uh, we're just going to glue it down. Don't. I thought I, I thought I got you unstuck. Come on, glue. Okay. There we go. Again, I'm going right along the edge. I really want this to stick. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I do, I do. I do, I actually do. I was so worried going into this. I was like, you know, I'd convince myself, well, I really want to paint, right? I want the last page to be a watercolor painting. I don't care. That's what I want. <laughs> And so I was like, oh, but I'm recording, and it could go bad, it could go so bad, you know? And, uh, 
Oh, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it came out great. Is it functional? No, right? It's just, it's a watercolor painting in a journal. But I'm going to sew, um, I'm going to stitch uh, pages in between each envelope. So, and there's journaling cards in each envelope as well. Look at that. Wow. I love. Oh my gosh, look at it. So you're like going through the journal, la da da. Just, you know, it's a journal. And then you get to that page and you're like, what? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I was thinking of um, putting, you know, something up here. Um, but I kind of like it just the way it is. I don't think I'm going to add anything. Um, I think it's done. I think it's good. Um, I love it. Uh, I apologize that it was um, painting. Not, not much junk journaling, mostly painting. But it is what it is, and it's what I wanted my last page of my journal to be. So I had fun. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I will uh, see you very shortly, probably tomorrow, with the flip through. I'll finish this, and I'll show you really quick what I did with this. Um, so I have these Christmas cards that are like, you know, you put a photo in there, you open it up, it has a little saying, a sentiment, and you know, you put a photo in here. So I'm just going to vintage this up. I glued, um, you know, this vintagey kind of paper inside, and on this side, you can still put a photo in. And I'm just going to glue this on the back of the page like this, on the very back page. It's going to be glued on like that. And so that's what that page, the back page is just going to be that. Um, and then I'll finish journaling cards. And uh, and then, yeah, I'll do, a f I'll finish it up and do a flip through. And um, so that's it. Anyway, thank you. I hope you guys have a good day and rest of your weekend and everything. Um, bye.